Maggie to the rescue. Hey everybody, Maggie's giving TLC to a bag of LOL tween dolls. Thank you, Maggie. You can have a seat. I just got them at the thrift store for just $2 for both of them. And it looks like they have their clothes in there too, so that's great. So this is Goldie Twist. And she's inspired by the 60s and early 70s, I think. And her hair is messy and it's supposed to be up in an elastic. So I'll take care of that in a little bit. And this is Chloe Pepper. Her hair should be in ponytails. Again, it's just messy, no real issues otherwise. And she's inspired by 90s rock, specifically the Spice Girls. Um, more specifically, Ginger Spice. I love her Union Jack bodysuit. And here are their clothes. And I hope they're all there. I don't see any accessories, but I do think all the clothes are there. And I have a little niece on the way, so I hope to get these girls tidied up and put away for her when she's old enough to play with them. So first I'm just wiping them down with a baby wipe. They both look really clean and I don't detect any odors at all. So I'm just going to follow this up with a sponge bath with a little bit of dish soap. Here's her 90s pop earring. That's so cute. Normally, I would submerge the hair and wash it, but I think today I'm just going to wipe it down with the sponge because their hair, it just seems really clean and shiny and there's really no need for me to go through that whole process. But typically, in 99% of other cases, I actually would wash their hair. So the front of her hair has these stiffened pieces that are long strands that are supposed to, you know, come in front of her face. They're really cute. I'm not going to mess with them. Getting a little bit of tangles out. So I'm just dividing Chloe Pepper's hair and I'm just going to twist her curls around my fingers. So I'm just freshening up the curls. I don't need to put... Um, you know, rollers in her hair or anything like that. The hair itself already has the natural curl in it, so I'm just assisting it along. The front pieces of her hair are actually soft. They don't have the stiffener in them like Goldie's. So I'm dividing Goldie's hair up in strands just so that I can determine which strands I want to make into a curl. It wasn't as easy to discern after I, you know, combed through her hair. So now I'm just going to divide them back up. So this is pretty much what her hair would have been like originally. 
so I just realized I should have put this bow in before I did the finger curls. So hopefully I can kind of keep them intact. Looks like the curls are still there, so that worked out okay. So I'm just wrapping Chloe's hair around my finger and getting it softened up. And once I get the elastic in, then I'm going to create more of the individual curls. These front pieces are a little fuzzy, so I'm just going to put a little bit of hair gel in them. So there's her little Union Jack bodysuit. And here are these cute like 60s, 70s little shorts with flowers. I love her clear boots. And these are Chloe Pepper's platform sneakers. And her lock collar. Goldie's top. And her flower tights. Wonderful. And Chloe Pepper's jacket with all the fuzzies. Metallic and the clear plastic raincoat, or just coat, I guess, for Chloe Pepper, so kind of 60s. I'm sorry, it was for Goldie. And Chloe's skirt with zippers. So I wonder if Goldie Twist was inspired by Goldie Hawn. These are pictures of her from the 60s or early 70s. Okay, Maggie's going to get ready for the big reveal. So I think they turned out great, but there wasn't a whole lot to do in the first place. I did split that curl that had the gel in it or the stiffener. Um, so now she has three in front. I think that's really cute. Love her flower earrings. 
and Chloe is all ready to go rock and roll. And as you can see, Maggie had to join and put her hair in pigtails and put her favorite t-shirt on. Well, that was such a fun find for just $2 in the thrift store. And I just want to thank everyone out there who donates their old dolls and toys instead of just throwing them out. It's so important that we restore and reuse so they don't end up in our landfills. So for more thrift finds, restorations, and show and tells, be sure to like and subscribe to Maggie to the Rescue. And thanks to all of you who already have. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Like and subscribe. Thank you.